Miracles by Walt Whitman. Read for LibriVox.org. Why, who makes much of miracles? As to me, I know of nothing else but miracles. Whether I walk the streets of Manhattan, or dart my sight over the roofs of houses toward the sky, or wade with naked feet along the beach just in the edge of the water, or stand under trees in the wood, or talk by day with anyone I love, or sleep in the bed at night with anyone I love, or sit at table at dinner with the rest, or look at strangers opposite me riding in the car, or watch honeybees busy around the hive of a summer forenoon, or animals feeding in the fields, or birds, or the wonderfulness of insects in the air, or the wonderfulness of the sundown, or of stars shining so quiet and bright, or the exquisite, delicate, thin curve of the new moon in spring. These, with the rest, one and all, are to me miracles, the whole referring, yet each distinct in its place. To me, every hour of the light and dark is a miracle, every cubic inch of space is a miracle, every square yard of the surface of the earth is spread with the same, every foot of the interior swarms with the same. To me, the sea is a continual miracle, the fishes that swim, the rocks, the motion of the waves, the ships with the men in them. What stranger miracles are there? End of The Miracles by Walt Whitman This recording is in the public domain.